Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Okay, so before we begin, I will talk about one thing about episodes 1 and 2 that I didn't talk during my reactions to episode 1 and 2, and that is concerning Gloria Martinez, um, David's mother. It's pretty clear that, that she is a, a mercenary or an, or an edge runner of, or some sorts, right? And her job of being a medical whatever is clearly just a fake job to keep David away from all of this which unfortunately for David or maybe fortunate for David he is gonna get roped in yeah that's that that's like the one major thing about episodes one and two that I didn't really talk about even though I kind of already know about it I just didn't talk about it for some reason so for, so for those of you who are wondering like Hey, 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 did you know that in episode one, Gloria was talking to somebody named Maine or something, you, you know? Yeah, calm down. I I know. I, I just forgot to mention it. I apologize. But anyways, I, I think that's pretty much it when it comes to like the big thing from episodes one and two that I didn't mention. But that, that at least as far as I know. Um, anyways, we are diving straight into episode three. I know um, it's taking a while. Um, I, again, I apologize. I know all 10 episodes are out by now. Most of you have already binge watched the entire thing. I'm not one to binge a show unless I really want to. So I'm trying my best to, to get these episode reactions, you know, um, as quickly as I can before fall season. Because once fall season comes in... I'm pretty sure and I'm pretty confident nobody's going to be talking about Cyberpunk Edge Runners by then. So I have about like a, like less than a month left to finish this show and put it out on the channel to keep, you know, to keep relevancy. Um, so hope you guys enjoy my reactions to episodes three and four and maybe four. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how many episodes I'm going to be watching today. But either way, hope you guys enjoy my reaction and my review slash discussion by the end of all of this. If you do enjoy it, hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let us continue with our journey with Cyberpunk Edge Runners. With your Santa Vista. She, her, his mom. Mmm. Our people. Yep. There we go. Who's is gonna come in? Yep. But limit is three, we know that. <laughs> Need to prove yourself, right? love some of these sketchy lines, right? Makes the emotions of the face really raw. Okay then. Ah. That's gonna come in... in one way or another, right? That is main. The big one. Hmm. All that stuff on the moon. I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure that that she was genuine about it, like this part right now as well, right? Saying her condolences. I'm 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 pretty confident that she is. You know, the principal is coming calling again. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Graciously agreed. <laughs> Kiwi, Doria, Pillar, Main. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny. Holy shit. Is that even illegal? No rules, I guess. 
Becker. <laughs> what was she? Fancy car. A really fancy car. I wonder if this car is in the game. Oh, this is a fun angle. Oh, shit. Show me what you got. Yep. Ah, oh, these... F these facial animations. It's... As I was saying, the facial expressions are so expressive and so... I love it. Mr. Schaffer. <laughs> love the back and forth. Oh, what? What the fuck? <laughs> Man, it really does feel like you're playing a mission from the game. Oh, whoa. Ah, uh, trauma. He's gonna punch it. Yep. What the? <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. Reminds me of a car chase from Pantheon Stalking. Like, ah. Oh. So good. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit. That's three times. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> Main blocked him in his fucking car. Nah. Oh my god, that looks. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. Bloody and gory. But really cool. Ooh. Welcome to the club. Hmm. Some wise advice there. So we got our band of misfits. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Need to upgrade yourself more. But a common theme is, the more you upgrade yourself, the more less human you become, right? Who is this? Oh. Oh shit. That's a corpo. Does he know him? Love the music in the back. Oh. Oh, that's the employer. Wow, these, these angles are purposeful. This dude is taking over the frame, taking control. Main is powerless here. Yeah. Has to, com has to comply. Well, that was a scene. Faraday. Oh, he's a fixer. Okay. What are you thinking, Lucy? Hmm. Oh, Becca is like down there. And the cutesy act is all gone. Obviously. Very much. Rebecca.
I love her voice. Shut the fuck up, principal. I don't want you. But he's actually responding. <laughs> Leaving his past life behind. And Lucy's gone. Even in the company of others, he still feels lonely. I think that's going to be a recurring theme going forward. Wait, is this? It is! It's the afterlife. Sweet. Yup, it's, it's the afterlife, alright. <laughs> Hmm. Kiwi's already on the case. Main. <laughs> oh, okay. David, you're, you're, you're bad timing. It's it, it's David. <laughs> An old geezer. If you're the shit or the little shit, I like that. Why are you in my house? I guess he's not in his house. Rebecca, you 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 gonna put some clothes? No? Okay, fine. あんた、今夜空いてる。おほほほ。拾ったやつが世話するのが筋ってもんだろ。はい。仕事くれくれうるせえんだよ。<laughs> <laughs> Keep him away from me, basically. Okay. A jog around Night City? Oh! Wait. Isn't this the... This, that was the apartment from, like, the, the first level of the game, was it not? After we finished the prologue and, and then we got our first real mission with Jackie. That, that was the apartment, was it not? But look at this, blending in. <laughs> Rebecca cannot come in because she's a fucking mommy. <laughs> yes! Oh, that was adorable. I'm seeing some familiar faces from the game. Really, really sweet. Again, for those of you who don't know, I've only played the game for like four, five, six hours. That's 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 pretty much the extent of it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> he crashed the car. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the flow of this episode. It's 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 really snappy, it's really fast. The montages. God. Only David knows about her age, not us. Okay. David is really jealous. Man, this entire episode is just one big training arc for him. He has his priorities. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we... 
We know it is. Hey. Hmm. Yep. A dream. Hmm. Can't take out a life because of her mom. Interesting. She has three tits. Oh my god. Hmm. Yeah. That is true. Lucy in the back. Main looking at them. Mm hmm. Upgrades. Has the money. He's really blending in. Oh no. He's a cyber psycho, isn't he? <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit, that just happened. Okay, 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 okay. I thought that was gonna hit main. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, Rebecca has every right to be mad right now. That was kinda funny. Shit. Damn as well. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. That, that that last piece of humanity within David. Well, it's not really his l the last piece. Holy fucking Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Obvious change from episode 2 when... Yeah, obvious parallel to episode 2. And the moon just blocked by the clouds. Yeah. Genuine. Love this back and forth dialogue. It's 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 so good. It flows so well. By how you die? Yep, I see that coming. Wow, wow, beautiful scene. Wow, beautiful scene.
Wow. Fantastic episode. Fuck. David's gonna die. They're setting it up so much. He's gonna die. I don't think I'm ready for that. I don't think I'm ready to see David die, and I don't think I'm ready to see Lucy see David die. Oh? My oh my. Why is this show just giving me more and more death flags? No! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, she did. <laughs> David's like, mm. this is kind of awkward. I mean, he did. So Lucy didn't tell them about about David's. Okay then. <laughs> David's looking at it. <laughs> Okay, okay, David knows David knows his stuff. Again, music. So good. And yes, I do I have heard that the music is straight from the game. This is cool though, David David is really blending in with them. And they're also starting to like trust him. Here we go. Bane is slowly sliding in the back. <laughs> oh shit! Fuck. Well, this is a problem. <laughs> Gotta hit him twice. <laughs> that was that was great. That was great. It's that chip. Yep. I told you it's gonna get bring up sooner or later. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she she is she is. That's a dead person. That's a lot of dead person. Yep. What the fuck happened here? Oh shit, no 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 they're they're trying to frame David. Mm. Yep, yep, totally a hundred percent. Instinct. Fuck. Just like in the first episode. Holy fuck. David, no. Fuck. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. What the actual fuck? I really hope this is a fucking dream. Oh, thank god, Jesus fucking Christ. Woo, boy. You got me, show you. You actually got me. See, what we just saw was something that I thought I'm gonna see in the final episode, right? David basically turning into a cyber psycho. 
Please tell. Yeah, yeah. First episode. She... This entire set of episodes is just... Hey, let's just foreshadow everything. Holy fuck. It's working though, because I am dreading. Let's go! Helicopters? The police? Oh, drones. Still bad, though. And you pissed them off. Ooh, that's still a long way, yeah. Fuck me, man. Lucy's got it. All right, then, let's go. Under playing the ED song right now. His voice is giving me chills. He's bad news. Like how long is this plan going to work out before shit hits the fan? Like now! Mm -hmm. Not again. Oh my god! Holy shit! Holy m The fuck just happened? Oh, oh shit. David, what are you gonna do? Well. Whoa. Whoa. The last thing he did was look at David and smile. They were talking about either you go psycho or you die. Fuck. Every episode of, of Edge Runners is just building up more and more tension of what the ending is going to be because. I feel like right now it's pretty obvious David is gonna die. The question is, how is David gonna die? Right? David is either gonna die a psycho or he is going to die human. Either way, it's gonna be sad. Shit. Wait, is this main? It is! Whoa. Wow. That small little facial animation was really good. What the f Main? Oh no. Oh. 
Main is going psycho. Meanwhile, David is having the best, well, not really the best night of his life, but. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Fuck. The camera going back and forth is really great. Wow, look at all of those. Also noticing the change of lighting, right? Blue, red. Lucy's shaking. The direction in this episode was, is really great right now, like, 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 well above the average episode. Learning more about her backstory, I guess? Mm. Lucy and David's character development has been really interesting so far. Like the way both of them start and how they're behaving right now. Definitely not what I was expecting. Well, well, for David it is ex it is expected. But these fucking cuts. No, no answer. David. Oh. She doesn't want to go. Tension, tension, tension. Fuck, 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 main. Fuck. Fuck, he's waking up too. Lucy is still inside. Wow, the cutting of. This episode so far, the direction has been really, really great. Mm. It's for the betterment of the company, not for David's own life, per se. Nice framing. Really nice framing. There's David's file. She's looking at it. Change in her eyes. Fuck, this entire episode is just anxiety building over and over and over again. I am scared. Fuck. Okay. Fucking main is holding David's hand. I love it. She doesn't want to lose David, that's for sure. Love that they're focusing a lot on the shot. Wow, Lucy is 
thinking about David's safety more than anything. Great cut. All of this tying back to Lucy's dream. No, 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 no. No. Oh, man. Fuck. Incredible direction. Holy shit.
that was a great set of episodes. It perfectly shows David and Lucy's character development from when we first met them in the first two episodes up until now. Their dynamic, the way, their, their attitude, it's changing. David is slowly turning more and more inhuman, right? Somebody who, at, in the first episode, we, um, we are introduced to this kid who is enjoying life, right? Being as human as you can possibly think of. A normal person in Night City. And then you have Lucy introduced in the second episode. First time we met Lucy, she is somebody who is cold, someone who is distant, someone who is keeping secrets from us and David, and somebody who is definitely... She's definitely somebody who doesn't like to open herself up to other people, right? She's keeping herself to herself. And now, six episodes in, and their dynamic just completely changes. David is now m more inhuman than ever. The more he adds parts to himself, the more he upgrades himself, the less human he becomes, and the less David that we know of. <laughs> and contrasting that with Lucy, who is now more open, especially towards David, especially after their time spending together, right? And I talked about this in my review and discussion in episode 2 when I was talking about Lucy and her dream of, of going to the moon, right? While that dream is still the same, right? She still wants to go to the moon, aka, you know, be free. You can say that her dream has a bit of alteration in which she wants to share that dream with, with David more than anything. If David can't be with her in that dream, then it's pointless for her. That's why um, in episode 5, no, episode 4. I apologize, that's why in episode 4, we see them together on that moon, right? After they share their passionate kiss, after Lucy and David open to one another, opens to one another, I'm sorry, and, and just basically starts a relationship, and a really loving one. And it's more evident in episode 6 with the way Lucy is acting. The way she is now looking to David, going, I don't want to do this, but what do you think? David going, I believe in you. Go, do it. And despite Lucy, at first, not wanting to, to do this job, right, in episode 6, she agrees. Why? Because David says so. Because she believes in David. Because she trusts David. And meanwhile, David, the David that, that Lucy is with right now may not necessarily be the David that she used to love. And I don't know if she notices this. I would say that she does, but she's just accepting it. 
But either way, it's not looking good for the both of them. And while we are meeting these new set in, in new cast of characters, we got Rebecca, we got Main Kiwi and and everybody just this entire team of, of characters. They are really fun to see and it pains me to see them just go out, especially this fast. And we are, you know, I mean I mean this is a ten episode show, but but still. To see them go one by one. And now there's this thing just on the back of my mind who is going to make it out alive in this show I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty confident in saying that David is going to die. That's 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 obvious. They've been it's been hinted at, it's been foreshadowed multiple times in these sets of episodes. Like like it's, it is inevitable. So I'm just bracing myself at this point when that time comes. <laughs> I think right now the biggest question is is Lucy going to make it out? In, 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 in this in this show like if there's any character that I think has the potential to be alive by the end of this show it is Lucy and I don't know how that is going to affect herself because if she is the only one alive then then, then she will be alone so I don't know which is better is it better for her to be alive but be alone, not with David and everybody else? Nobody to share her dreams? Or is it better to give up on her dreams and, and, and just die? I mean, that sounds gruesome and dark, but... It is, as dark as it is, freedom, right? I'll end this review by saying that episode 6 is probably the best episode of the show so far. The direction is amazing, the cuts, the transitions, incredible. It flows so well from scene to scene. And the way... It that episode just builds up tension after tension, building up the anxiety more and more and more until it finally pops. Maine is such... I don't even know how to describe Maine. The way the show handles Maine descent into madness the way she, the, the way he is, going back and forth between reality and and fiction and you know fantasy, right? What he sees and what we see, and how and what he sees represents his own mental state. And I cannot stress this enough, but the animation has been spectacular. Once again, the use of color, the compositing, the composition, the composition um, 
cinematography, just just everything just blends and makes for a really great show. <laughs> This final shot of of Maine and, and Dorio together. Let's see here. When we see Dorio just there on a stack of explosives, we cut to Dorio in in wood, right? The way Maine sees it. Giving her a final burial, a final farewell. Just, just beautiful, just, just beautiful. I think that's it for me for Cyberpunk ep episodes 3 to 6. See you next time for the rest of the show. Take care, everyone.